Hello, this is Sina Orangi, Master Student of Process Technology program in University of Southeastern Norway. This master thesis has been done by me under supervisory of Professor Lars Erik as main supervisor and also as a co-supervisor, a PhD student, Solomon Aromada. The importance of the topic can be understood from the presented pictures. In the left hand side pictures, it's obvious carbon dioxide has the biggest share among the other greenhouse gas emissions annually. Also, in the presented pictures in the right hand side, the growing trend of the CO2 emissions in different years is obvious. So it's really reasonable to use different methods to capture CO2 for better and healthier world. There are different methods to capture CO2 from the flue gas coming from plants or industries. But the presented pictures here, name absorber desorber amine base process, is the most important and well-known and popular processes in the world to capture CO2. The process, the process is mainly based on absorber and desorber. In the absorber, with the aid of a solvent like MEA, MDA, or peperazine, the CO2 particles from the sore gas will be absorbed. And also in the desorber, with the aid of a steam coming from the reboiler, the amine will be generated and sent back to the process. The other items like heat exchangers and pumps uh, should be used in the process to satisfy the requirement. This process is one of the uh, successful processes to capture CO2, but the big disadvantages of the process is uh, about the regeneration energy because in this part, I mean about the, I mean in the reboiler, we need lots of energy to regenerate the amine and send it back to the process. The explained process previously has been simulated in Aspen Heises version 10 and a screenshot from the process has been included here. As it mentioned earlier, absorber desorber amine based process is energy intensive, meaning it requires lots of energy, especially for regeneration A. And also it's really common and tradition to use 30% MEA as a solvent in the process to capture CO2. But one of the disadvantages about applying MEA as a solvent in the process is about the high regeneration energy to satisfy the aim of the project. So we need to apply the other solvents or their blends for lower regeneration energy because lower regeneration energy can also bring some advantages in case of economy of the project. I simulated the, the, process, the presented pro, process uh, with this blend, I mean 30% MEA and 5% peperazine. And according to the simulations and regeneration energy analysis, this blend can save energy 4.5% in case of 30, applying individual 30% MEA. And also about the blend of MEA and MDEA, adding 15% MDEA as a solvent to 30% MEA can save energy 7.4%. Also, I continue the work with the cost estimation to analyze the economy of the project and the effective, uh, effectiveness of the applying the other solvents or their blends to on the economy of the project. In this uh, graph, I mentioned the cost estimation for the base case, 30% uh, MEA as a base case is assumed in this project. Uh, in the top uh, figure, the, cap is, the capex for the total lifetime of, lifetime of the project, I mean 20 years, is assumed and calculated based on the data from Aspen Implant Cost Estimator. And also I continued the work with the calculation uh, for the total plant uh, 
the combination of the capex and opex and according to the calculation for the base case the total uh, money or total investment per year is something around 78.8 million euro per year the cost estimation for different blends uh, have been done in this project to compare with the base case to see how uh, how much saving can be brought to the project with uh, applying the other blends in comparing to the base case as you can see in the left uh, presented figure applying uh, for example the blend of MEA and peprazin can bring more than 4% cost saving annually and also in case of applying MEA the blend of MEA and MDA for example this blend can bring uh, more than 5% cost saving per year for the total plant it was a short uh, explanation about the benefits of the applying the other blends uh, rather than using individual MEA in the CO2 capture plant. So for more and detailed information, you can read my thesis. Thank you for your attention.